going forward, I could get shorter replies and sometimes just play this sound. Would you prefer that? Yes. All right. I've turned on Earth mode, where I talk less. You can always turn it off in the Alexa app. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, just a quick note and we'll get right back to the video. I am terrible at writing scripts. I'm terrible at following scripts. And it also turns out I am terrible at saying um, 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 when I am doing these videos. I had to edit out no less than 47 ums in this short little video clip and I wanted to punch myself in the face by the time I got done cutting all them out. Okay, back to the video. We are doing a little bit of a different video. I'm doing kind of a look back at a couple of past projects because I get questions all the time about these projects and how they're holding up or if I've changed anything and especially the shop cart, uh, shop back cart, I guess we should call it. I wanna give you guys some information on that because it really, it's great in some ways and then it's really bad in others. So we'll get to that after we do our, our workbench video here. But real quick, both of these projects are, one of them's about a year old and I think another one's about uh, maybe a little over a year old. I did them around the same time. This workbench has been, it's, it's been fantastic. It really has. It's done exactly how I wanted. And I stated in the video, I know not everybody has access to these extruded aluminum pieces, but if you do, this, this really is a great option for a workbench. I've only made just a few changes. I've, I've wanted to make more than I really did or that I have so far, but I just, I haven't had a chance to make those changes. So I want to show you just a couple of things that I have done and the kind of the positives and negatives of this. So you guys can maybe if you're building one like this, you can make those changes or make the decisions for yourself. So first, the positives, this old desktop, perfectly flat. It's just, you know, decent grade particle board. So there's no reason why it shouldn't stay flat. It's well supported. The frame is, is square and flat. That's been great. It's also great for if there's glue stuck on here, you can simply pop those off really easily so it cleans off really well. There's some paint on here, but I, I don't really care about that. Another good thing is I did route some of these slots in here. I didn't really want to put a bunch of dog holes in here because I'm afraid it'll weaken it too much. And this probably weakens it a little bit, but it's been great. These little Harbor Freight clamps and these slots, they easily fit in the slot and clamp down onto any workpiece. And then you can have multiple clamps. So what I've used this for a lot is if you're clamping something crossways like this, I can put a clamp here. I can put a clamp down there and have, have it clamped across there for one reason or another. So those have been great. And then also the edges, of course, are only about four or five inches deep. So I can easily clamp something on the edge. That works great as well. So all the clamping has been really good. Probably the worst thing about this is also a good thing. This, the laminate surface of this is really slick. Stuff doesn't stick to it very well, but at the same time, when I'm using it to clamp stuff down to it, this laminate surface is not a great surface to clamp stuff to. It's, it's slippery and I've gotten by with it. It works fine for the, the work that I do. But when I replace this top, which I do plan on doing, I am gonna use something else. Another bad thing about this stuff I obviously do YouTube videos and it's terrible to video on. I mean, it's terrible. There are reflections and shininess and everything else all over the place. So that's probably bothered me more than anything else about it. So not really anything can do. Like I said, it's worked great. It was free, it's reclaimed. So I've gotten a lot of good use out of this that was just a broken disc. So next, I wanna move on to some of the things that I want to change for this. And I'll show you some of the clamping things that I use with the extruded aluminum. So we're gonna move on to that. I will show you that and kind of do a recap of if I would do this project again, and we will continue on with our next project. So moving on to the side of the bench, this has been one of the most useful parts of it as far as clamping capabilities and stuff is this aluminum because it's very strong and holds all kinds of clamps. So I haven't utilized it as much as I probably should have, or I know that I 
haven't utilized it as much as I should have. I got to just think up the different ways that I want to use it, either to use it as a kind of a straight saw track that I could attach to the side somehow. But right now it's been great because I can slide like these Craig clamps, quick clamp. I can slide that in there one way or another. And if I have a small piece, I can put this on the side like that. And then that's a perfect stop. So if I had a, a wider piece that I put in there and wanted to clamp it, I could have a low stop. So if I wanted that as a, as a planing stop, of course I wouldn't put that in the middle of the bench because that would be kind of dumb as a planing stop, but I could put it down here as a planing stop, put that board up against there. It's super sturdy. I can move this board around however I need to, and then it's easily changeable to any way that I want. And then of course, even if I have a much larger board, put this clamp in here and clamp it on there. So it's not, of course, nearly as sturdy as, as what a vise would be, but for what I use it for, it's worked great. I've even used like these Rockler clamps. They have a carriage bolt on them. They easily slide in there. And again, I can clamp a small board in there or what I've done more of really is just kind of a stop. I just use the clamp itself, tighten that down on there. And again, I have a stop that I can push work up against. I could put two of them on there and have it worked up against like that. Quickly changeable, loosen it and it's out of the way. So that's been a really great use too. So this in conjunction with these slots has really been a great addition. The base, I really wouldn't change anything about the base except I am gonna add some, some storage underneath it, which there's a thousand videos on how to make under your bench storage. But basically I just wanna have some drawers, to easy access to clamps, small clamps and stuff, because that's what I use this for as an assembly table. So let's move over to the shop back cart and see what we can find out about that. All right, the next project we're gonna go over is the shop back cart. This project was brought on just because I had this idea in my head that I had this baffling that I could put into a box to contain my shop back and it'd be a lot quieter. Well, it turns out it was a lot quieter. It worked fantastic. It actually almost made the shop back completely silent. Um, it worked better than I even could have hoped. But, big but, caution if you're gonna build this project, this design, and I didn't put out any plans or anything, so nobody's gonna be able to probably copy it exactly, but this design will eat shop backs. Yeah, it will eat them. Why do I know that? This was the original shop back that was in the video. Guess what? I burn it up. The reason I burn it up is because this thing was so well at masking sound, well, it was also really well at containing heat. The baffling, because I did not have it hooked up directly to the exhaust. I had the exhaust just blowing out and turns out, you can see there's some black there on my foam. Turns out that didn't work so hot. Well, <laughs> actually it did work real hot. The air wasn't able to escape out this exhaust very well. And I was using it one day. Honestly, I was using it longer than I probably needed to. I had it on for about 15 minutes or so. Seen a puff of black smoke and I didn't have any more suction. So this cart, like I said, sound protection, sound deadening and all that has worked great, even though I had to buy a new shop back. But now I haven't had a, I haven't really taken a, taken a chance to modify this the way that I need to. So it's terrible, but honestly, when I use it, I just leave the door open. So it's completely useless. The switch and stuff to turn it on is really handy because one of these plugs I have wired to the switch and then the other plugs are hot all the time and then have a long extension cord wired into it. But again, would I build this one again? No, I wouldn't. Turns out in my shop, I have a lot of mats, uh, anti-fatigue mats and stuff down. And even though I have casters on here rolling around, it's kind of big and bulky and it's just a, it's a pain in the ass. It really is. I don't move this thing more than two or three feet at a time. I leave it off to the side. I have enough hoses that I string them wherever I need it to go, leave the door open and let it run. There are other videos on YouTube of the cart designs that I really like that have nothing to do with sound editing. They just are very simplistic. It has the shop back with some PVC pipe up to hold 
either dust deputy or or whatever dust containment unit you want to use. That's probably what I'll go to because I'm not worried about the sound in my shop. I wear Isotunes earplugs most of the time and listen to podcasts and whatnot. So I don't really care if it's loud and I want it to be light and easy to move. So my mind has changed. I just haven't taken the time to change, change this. But if you had a big shop and you didn't care about moving this around too easily, I think this would be a great thing to build and to have for the sound deadening. I think really all you would need to do is make sure that the exhaust of the shop vac is routed directly to the exhaust port and then maybe have another vent to let fresh air in. I think if you had that, it would work still moderately well as sound deadening, but also wouldn't burn up your shop vacs, which is of course a major plus. Overall, it was a great experiment. Um, I get questions all the time on this thing about does it did it overheat or you know whatever happened to this project blah 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 and here it is clean it up or anything this is exactly what it looks like I use it every day uh, but again just just with the door open but if you're going to build one of these honestly if you're going to do the complete sound deadening just do a little bit of research and, and I can tell you from experience that if you seal it up almost completely it'll burn up your shop back and it'll do it in a hurry so. That's really it about the shop back cart, guys. I do appreciate you watching. I do have a lot of big builds coming up, so stay tuned and click on the old notifications if you wanna see those. Thanks a lot for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video.